This is the SNARK, the first intercontinental missile in flight from the Air Force Missile Test Center in Florida across the island rim Caribbean to an undisclosed destination in the South Atlantic. No living thing accompanies the SNARK. A jet engine powers its flight. It is navigated by a self-contained and non-jammable guidance system. Yet it is not unattended on its mission. Multiple radar and telemetry systems monitor every performance detail, transmitting a constant stream of information back to the watchful attention of Northrop engineers. General Supervisor of Engineering at the Missile Test Facility is George Scott, California Institute of Technology. Supervisor of Missile Flight Test is Sal Exifo, New York University, Johns Hopkins. Out in California, at Northrop's main plant in Hawthorne, key personnel await word of the SNARK flight. Milt Kuska, University of Nebraska, Chief of Missile Field Test. Greg Varley, General Supervisor of Missile Flight Test, Rensselaer Polytechnic. And Assistant Chief of Missile Field Test, Tony Kalman, Rice Institute. From the missile flight comes data essential to related engineering programs and the flight report is relayed to the wind tunnel, where Chief of Fluid Dynamics, Bob Katkoff, a University of Minnesota graduate, studies a new missile design in simulated flight. And to model design, where design advancements are discussed with William Ballhaus, Stanford and Caltech, and Roy Jackson, Stanford, Chief and Assistant Chief Engineer. That's the Northrop pattern, engineering teams in a unified effort young men in positions of responsibility, creative young engineers from all over the country, working with men of similar backgrounds on significant and stimulating projects like the SM-62 SNARK. Engineers of high professional standing in a company whose reputation was built on research leadership. For behind many achievements in modern aircraft design lies basic research at Northrop. From research in aerodynamics for the flying wing, for example, came the first successful use of elevons, control surfaces combining the functions of elevators and ailerons, and full power flight controls, an innovation on the wing in the early 1940s, have become standard in modern aviation. Northrop's X-4 research airplane provided valuable data in the development of sonic and supersonic aircraft. And from the SNARK, operating under security blackout during years of development and testing, came basic missile research, invaluable to the U.S. strategic arsenal. Northrop's reputation in research is sustained in the field of design. First functional night fighter ever designed and produced is the famed World War II Black Widow. And the Air Force's F-89 Scorpion, the world's most heavily armed fighter interceptor, and mainstay of U.S. continental defense is the first jet aircraft designed for all weather operation. The flight test engineer not only designs a test program and supervises its multiple operations, but teams with a test pilot in flying its missions as well to ensure that Air Force specifications and Northrop's own rigid standards are met. From the Scorpion's twin pods, electronically controlled firing sprays a pattern barrage of 104 rockets into a target area the size of a football field. While the flight test engineer follows his instrumentation tapes and film through data analysis for results of the 89's test flight, another Northrop design innovation is coming to life. The Air Force's first jet aircraft designed as a supersonic trainer 
Like all aircraft of the jet age, it is a highly complex machine, a product of the integrated skills of men from many fields of engineering. Aerodynamics, electronics, mechanical design, structural design and analysis, and power plant. Such aircraft, with all their complexities and challenges, have opened up a new air age with unlimited opportunities in all phases of engineering. To this new air age, Northrop is fully committed. And for all young engineers, there is at Northrop in Southern California, a design for living. In unique and helpful Southern California, Northrop engineers own their homes and start their families. For it's Southern California's mild climate, year-round, that conditions the mode of living, that makes the backyard an extension of the living room, that makes good housing less expensive than in any other area of the United States. Southern California is a young area, with young thinking and modern planning, with decentralized shopping centers, the trend toward modern extends also to the schools. In higher education, such outstanding schools as Caltech, the University of California at Los Angeles, and the University of Southern California are close to Hawthorne. The Northrop engineer who takes advanced courses in his field at these institutions has 85% of the cost of his course paid for by the company. Whatever their faith, people new to the area find a friendly welcome in its many fine churches. Whatever their interests, whatever the season, they find a wealth of activities and pursuits in Southern California. Adjacent to the Los Angeles suburbs are world-famed vacation centers. Within a day's driving range, you'll find some of America's finest resorts. As a Northrop engineer, you'll have plenty of time to enjoy California's outdoor wonderland. Besides the national holidays, you'll have two weeks and two days of annual vacation, plus Northrop's traditional holiday present, exclusive in the industry, a week's vacation with pay from Christmas to New Year's. When you come to work at Northrop, you'll find that your education, your experience, and your interests are evaluated by engineering management to give your abilities their widest use and to find the channel where you will have the best opportunity for advancement. For Northrop is dedicated to a policy of promotion from within the company and to the belief that the proper assignment is most advantageous to you and to the company. If you should feel in time that your own sphere is in another field, you have freedom to move from one group to another to broaden your experience.
Every six months, your job performance will be evaluated and your salary reviewed. With advancement strictly on a merit basis, your progress at Northrop will depend entirely on your ability and application. Whatever your field, you will have the most modern equipment and facilities at your disposal. The ballistic pendulum, for example, for impact testing small components at high G-forces. An acceleration sled to simulate shock loads of rocket-boosted launch. And a new high Mach number wind tunnel. In unique copper screen rooms, electronic devices are tested free of all exterior interferences. And in the electronic standards laboratory, the test equipment itself is tested. High frequency, voltage, and microwave test units are calibrated with the laboratory's primary standards, whose measurements conform to those of the National Bureau. You will have occasion to submit data to Northrop's computer division for processing, solving problems in minutes instead of hours or days. And you will work in a modern engineering building. As you advance at Northrop, the scope enlarges, and you find that you may follow your engineering project from design on through production to customer delivery. For example, an optical engineer working on a principle originated at the University of Illinois, perfected the sky screen, a system for projecting radar scope information onto a large screen for command group surveillance. Now being produced at Northrop's nearby Anaheim facility, the sky screen is typical of projects whose engineer designers supervise production. When a project enters the production phase, the engineer finds ready a vast assemblage of skills and techniques equipped to translate engineering plans and raw materials into the hardware of aeronautical science. With Northrop's long-range vision focused on new horizons, the efforts of the production team and of Northrop Engineering are directed more and more toward a new air age. An age whose element is the silent world of weightless altitude and ultrasonic speed. In pursuit of scientific breakthroughs, Northrop engineers are pioneering complete fuel systems for high-speed performance in upper atmospheric cold. Metallurgical engineers search the microstructures of high-temperature alloys for a key to higher heat resistance. And in the organic lab, solutions are compounded to sheathe these metals against the consuming forces of the heat barrier. The challenge and the opportunities of a new era are here, and with them, a demand for trained men in all phases of engineering. With Northrop aircraft in the young and growing West, you will find not only a pleasant place to live and a pleasant place to work, but you will find a place where you can grow, intellectually and professionally, doing work in your own field, work of significance to you and to your country. <laughs>